Well, new at 10, going to the movies, like many other things in our lives, it has disappeared during the pandemic. But now, as Arizona slowly starts to reopen, a night at the movies and a box of popcorn is once again possible. Earlier today, I chatted with Valley Theater mogul Dan Harkins about how COVID is changing the movies. Right. How devastating has this been to oh, the movie theater industry? It's been terrible. Um, whatever level we would normally be at right now, we're down at least two thirds. Uh, right now, we consider it a victory if today we have an attendance um, at our theaters that equals 40% of the same time last year. And most theater chains are only achieving 20%. Um, so as everything's really down, and it's all really contingent on two things. Moviegoers have to become confident that we're doing the right thing in the theaters, that we're doing the right protocol and spacing the seats apart and doing everything we can. And furthermore, and this is the big one, is we got to get the movies from Hollywood. So we're looking forward to like the James Bond coming out and Black Widow and Wonder Woman and movies like that. Will Harkins and other theaters still be in business as we see theaters today yeah. in 10 or 15 years? Oh yeah, because we have already survived. I mean, think about it, when, when TV came out and when all that came out and that was available free to the public, why would theaters still survive? But we did. Dan, like so many other businesses though, I'm sure you've had to change your business model with the pandemic in mind. Oh yeah, I mean, first of all, our capacities in our auditoriums are about 35%. We're doing like a, a checkerboard pattern, so everybody's at six, eight feet apart from each other. We have extra staff here to clean. Everybody's wearing masks. So if you don't have the mask, we will provide you one. And um, yeah, lots of change. I predict movie going to be like it was probably by the end of the year, beginning of the next year, and uh, it'll be like this didn't even happen in two years. Let's hope. All right, by the way, if you'd like to watch the entire interview, you can catch it on the 12 News.